What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of YouTube? Here we go. As you all know, uh, my beautiful, loving wife and kids got me a new helmet for my birthday a couple of weeks ago. And it is currently 1140 in good old southern Arizona. And I have been out riding with this helmet now for the second day for the past three hours. Multiple speeds and also playing my music and not playing my music just to get an idea of how this helmet will will fare at higher speeds, you know, if I make long trips with it or whatnot. So what I got was the uh, Airframe Pro by Icon with the Brozek graphic. And I'll put my picture that I put on Instagram in here. Well, here you go, guys. Instead of throwing a picture in, I thought I would just do this. Once I got back to the house, I'd just do a nice little walk around of the helmet with the graphic in it. It is pretty damn cool looking. And the 20S fits pretty nicely on it. Like I was saying, got that Riders for Warriors. But the graphics on it are pretty awesome. But there you go, guys. Thought I would do that once I got done riding today instead of throwing a picture up in there. And then back to the rest of the video. And I have to say, uh, compared to my Armada, which has got the Bioskull graphic on it. Uh, the airframe does have a bit more wind noise. Um, compared to the Armada, the Armada is a more of a round head configuration and the Air, Airframe Pro is more of an intermediate oval, which it doesn't really feel bad. I mean, I got a soft head anyway, so it'll squeeze into anywhere. <laughs> um, but again, like I said, uh, I've been riding now with it uh, today for the past three, and a, three, three and a half hours. Uh, I left the, the house pretty early this morning. It is Sunday, it is my day off. So I figured what better way to test this helmet but get out there and ride like the wind. Um, coming back in from Tombstone, uh, just so you know, um, I, I do like this helmet. Uh, I really love the graphic on it. I think it is probably one of the best looking graphics out there. It just looks cool as all get out. Because the face mask, the smiley face face mask on it is like you're covering your your actual personality. It's a facade. And usually I'm a pretty nice guy, so. Oh, that's right. It's hunting. It's bow season or something like that. All these people stopped on the side of the road probably hunting. The graphic is awesome, the wind flow, I mean, it is a very good airflow helmet. Um, I think it's probably where most of the wind noise comes from is because it has such a high airflow. I've got all the vents closed uh, that I can close, that I can physically close, and I'm, I've still got quite a bit of wind noise. Uh, but I like it. I uh, put my Senna 20S in it and I had no problems with the install on that. Uh, except for the bottom lip of the helmet 
uh, it's got kind of like a a raised rubberized lip around the bottom edge and uh, I had to trim it down a little bit so that way the, the 20S mount would sit a little bit more flush otherwise I wouldn't be able to take the the 20S unit off of the base itself so that was the only downfall that I found uh, as far as installing the 20S in it. Speakers went in really nice. The microphone goes in really nice. I am using the wired mic because uh, I didn't want no big hunking plastic or whatever kind of microphone bouncing off my chin. So other than that, it's a a great helmet like I said the graphics is what sets this helmet off compared to everything else and that being said i also for my birthday you know I got you guys know I got battlefield one for the Xbox one and I've had a lot of people um, add me to their friends list I've had war junkie which is my buddy cruising moto up there in Blythe, near Blythe. Uh, we played the, the other night, it was pretty fun. Got a problem though, I've, I've got to reset my damn modem and my Wi-Fi uh, every time I want to play, if somebody invites me to like a party chat or something like that, because otherwise it just, I can't connect to the party chat. So I got to get on the phone with Microsoft and find out what the deal is with that. See if there's a, uh, something that I'm missing as far as settings goes. Uh, Tombstone Marshall. Um, but that, that's, that is what it is. My first impressions of Battlefield 1, man, when I first started playing it was, holy crap. I was getting my butt handed to me left and right, but now, now I've played it a little bit more and, and whatnot, I, I've gotten kind of the hang of it. The guns take a lot of getting used to compared to the previous Battlefield titles, which is pretty awesome. I think it is, is fantastic. The graphics are amazing. And I want to thank everybody that uh, added me on my uh, to their friends list, and one of these days we'll We'll have to get as many of us together as possible and have one hell of a romp go on. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to kind of cruise back into town. I'm going to test this helmet again without the, the music playing in my ears and, and see how it works. Maybe get around this little Ford here in a minute, considering it'd be all right because the marshal didn't turn around. But on that happy note, guys, have a great day. Have a good week. Keep the rubber side down, and I'll catch you on the next one.